Hello, and welcome to this Abrabyte focused on three things to look for in a Form 990. My name is Jennifer Huebner, and I'm a Senior Prospect Analyst at the George Washington University in Washington, DC. Before we get started, I will state that the specifics I'm going to cover have had a higher education lens within my own professional experience. However, they can be applied to fundraising organizations of all types and are pretty general. So all that's to say you can and hopefully will learn something new. Let's go ahead and dive in. So to start, let's talk about a hypothetical common scenario that you might encounter in your work as a researcher, backed up by some real world data. Let's say that you know one of your organization's prospects has a family foundation they're affiliated with and makes charitable gifts through. Or if your work has more of a corporate and foundation relations slant, your organization's prospect could be the foundation. Now you might be wondering what exactly is a Form 990? It is a form that most tax exempt charitable organizations are required to file with the IRS every year, much in the same way that we as individuals have to file tax returns. Sometimes up in the header of a Form 990, you'll see a capital PF, which just stands for private foundation. This next bullet has a lot of quoted text from the IRS website, um, which basically is to say that foundations are required to give away roughly 5% of their assets each year. So now you might be wondering where can you find a Form 990? A lot of times for high visibility, large scale foundations, they can be right on the foundation's website. This is the case with the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation and we'll be looking at that Form 990 specifically in the next couple of slides. Sometimes you can go to free websites like guidestar.org or broader Google and type right in the search bar the name of the foundation of interest, Form 990, and see what comes up there. There's also the Foundation Center's Foundation Directory Online, which is a paid annual subscription resource that you can also use to look for Form 990s, um, sometimes back multiple years. All right, now let's talk about what's in a Form 990. There's a whole lot of information, and spoiler alert, these are the three main things to look for. The first is the fair market value of all assets for a given year, and that includes things like income on investments, um, gifts made to the foundation, oftentimes through family members, so that the foundation can then make grants over the course of the next year. Um, and market value also factors in expenses of the foundation which can include salaries if the foundation is staffed with paid directors and officers. Second thing to look for are contributions paid during the year. So those are grants that are awarded to different nonprofit organizations and that'll give you a sense of what the foundation is interested in and supports as well as the scope and scale in terms of dollar amount of awards made by the foundation. Third thing to look for are examples of specific grants. So you'll be able to see a listing of different organizations receiving funding from the foundation as well as those dollar amounts. There's also a fourth bonus thing to look for that I'll touch on as well, and those are specific directors and officers, in other words, key stakeholders of the foundation that may be of interest for your own organization to approach when working with them. In terms of finding a Form 990 online, um, I referenced the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, and here's a screenshot of their website. So you can see it's pretty much an overview of the foundation from a financial standpoint. And down in the third paragraph, you can get a sense of the foundation's mission, purpose, um, to give you an idea of the types of nonprofits they support. So you can see on a global scale, uh, they focus on improving health and alleviating extreme poverty. However, within the US, they support programs related to education. So once we get into the Form 990 itself, to unpack it a bit, um, you can see up at the top that this is the Form 990 from 2017. Sometimes foundations will operate on a calendar year basis, January 1 to December 31st, or sometimes they'll operate on a fiscal year basis. July 1st to June 30th. Um, and it will specify up at the top of the form if it's uh, fiscal year versus calendar year. If we look at the center of the Form 990, we can see the fair market value of all assets at the end of 2017, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, which is roughly $51.8 billion. So it is huge. 
we drill down farther down at the bottom of this page in line 25, we can see the contributions, gifts, and grants paid over the course of the year worked out to roughly $5.3 billion. So remembering that foundations take away 5% of their assets every year, this figure is 10.3% of the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation's total assets. So it's pretty charitable in that sense. If you scroll down farther within a foundation's 990, you can see specific recipients uh, as well as the purpose of the grant that they were awarded and the dollar amount over on the far right. So these are some examples of international organizations that received funding. Um, there's a university in Pakistan, for example, as well as a medical organization in Paris, France. And then as far as domestic organizations that got money from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, um, in keeping with their mission of supporting educational programs, they awarded money to various teacher prep programs in Boston, Florida, and New York City. Again, with the amounts listed to the far right. I'll say here that Control Find or Control F can be your friend when you're looking through 990s if there's a specific organization, including your own, that you're looking to see whether a foundation supported. So if you were looking specifically for Teachers College of Columbia University, um, that would be one way to go right to that recipient's line. Now for the bonus thing to look for in the 990, the foundation's officers and directors sometimes are listed at the end of the form depending on the scope and scale of the foundation. So you can see that perhaps not surprisingly, Bill and Melinda Gates are trustees of their own foundation. They put in about 25 and 30 hours a week of work respectively, and the zero in the compensation field means they're not taking any income from the foundation. If you look farther down, However, you can see that there are some officers who, this is their full-time job for 40 hours a week, um, and they receive a salary for their work with the foundation. This is of note, whether you are researching individual prospects or looking at the foundation as a whole in terms of knowing who the key people and decision makers are from a grant making perspective that you would want staff from your organization to try to reach out to and contact. That concludes our app or bite. Thank you so much for your time and listening, and hopefully you learned something new.